So, I gotta show you that how they trying to normalize, I gotta show you how they try to normalize, um, how they literally try to normalize men getting with used up women and men getting with women who got a higher body count than them. And this is the MOT's point of getting inexperienced men with, with uh, overly experienced women. Now, if you're on Twitter, find this chick and find this post and you'll see just how many I clocked in almost 70, 70 different women showing off the men that they were with. Well, no, 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 no. It was, it was, it was LGBTQ community people too. Um, about 60, 64, 64 relationships I've seen that they were bigging up these men for being in relationships with uh, sex workers, right? So they normalizing guys to get with over-experienced women. Also, I'm going to show you a, a, a post of... Um, I'm gonna show you a post of what a dude, what a what a LGBTQ dude said, and I don't get like a LGBTQ community dude try to view the perspective of a straight man, and everybody agree with him. But when a man does that, when a man says, when he makes a broad statement about black women, because he he's seen the people around him and everything else, it doesn't matter because he haven't met enough black women to actually make a judgment. But this LGBTQ community dude. Get to actually make a broad statement and get away with it, right? So, I woke up and then I go on Twitter because, you know, usually I go, I data mine uh, or I dig, dig through the, uh, not the right word, I dig through all the posts through, uh, uh, what you call it, it's, uh, Instagram. That's why I gave that video about, you know, Nat Turner getting mad because, you know, he burned his bridges with, 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 with other men. But he want men to come to his rescue. And that kind of sounds like, that's kind of do what women say. You know, when women say that they don't have female friends because they can't trust them. Kind of like how male friends do when they burn too many bridges with their dudes. Because you slept with other people, you slept with your friends, uh, wives, and girlfriends, and you didn't pay them back with better looking women than, than, than you cheated on them with, right? So now, you know, they normalizing guys getting with, uh, Getting with thoughts to I don't know what for, but now it's working, but it ain't working. It ain't working to a higher enough uh, level where these guys are wifing up, you know, ex strippers and ex thoughts. This is why these chicks are coming into um, male spaces and uh, and pretending like they like anime and video games. That's their last this effort to try to find a man. So they can clear their past, but it's not working because a lot of people are, are aware. So to me, I see it like this, right? This normalization of thoughts and women getting pounded out by other men. And then they got a man to go, go to, they thinking that they got a, they got a big misconception of what men, how many men actually practice cheating on their wives there was only a select group of men who cheated on their wives and was able to get to have women by their side while they was having sex with other women only a small select of guys can actually do that but they put they put a broad statement on men in general because that's what they do to try to make it seem like every man have the ability to get with women and get all the women get with women and get all the women and end up having a, poly a polyamorous relationship with multiple women when only one guy it, it, only it, 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 it's it's only a particular type of guy who can actually get a, in a relationship with one woman now every woman think that every man has the ability to go sleep with every uh, all, all thousand women and that's untrue and that shows you that the whole their, mis their misconception of what men can do and what men can get away with now is mutated into this, this crap that we see now. Where they think that every man, they think every man can, uh, damn, there's a whole bunch of bees over here. They think every man can actually, um, 
can bang a, a thousand women a day. And they can't. They think that uh, every man can somehow get multiple women. So now they got now they got this like I said they got this 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 imagination of I can do what men can do now. I can be a uh, a OnlyFans girl getting banged out by multiple dudes and then I can come home to a husband or a boyfriend and I can get that connection with him and I can just give him small bits of what I give everybody else. Because this is what men been doing this whole time. And that's the mindset of these these chicks who are these this the mindset of these chicks who uh bought into this feminism crap where they really think that men was out there being able to sleep with multiple women and having a wife at home when only like I said a few people would do that. Now guys are biting on this concept of <laughs> of being with these women who they watching their wives getting banged out by other dudes and it's like I think zero zero it was right. A lot of these dudes signed up to be cucks. Ain't no way that a chick is gonna come up to me and tell me that she's an OnlyFans, and then I'm supposed to accept her for who she is, but then a guy come up to a female and say he was accused of something, but it he wasn't really convicted of it, and then the girl can say, Oh no, I don't want to deal with you. And it's like, oh, this, this so <laughs> it only goes one way now, right? It it only goes one way unless you look good or whatever to them, they don't let they don't allow you to get away with everything, right? So, to me, I look at it and I'm like, when I seen just how many cucks is out there, like zero say, and uh, you know, if 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 zero want to look at this, if he got a Twitter or not, he he see how bad it is. Like you look in this, you look in this page, and you see this, you see these dudes smiling with these, 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 AKA cum rags, and it's like, damn, man, don't y'all have no honor among each other? I can respect the dudes who got OnlyFans and they're doing it with their girlfriends or their wives, but I don't respect none of the dudes who, who actually, uh, who who watch other men do it to their wives. And they're sitting there acting like they're doing, acting like somehow that makes them the best, or makes them like you, you, you posing with these chicks, and these chicks are doing, doing this opposite stuff. So these chicks can't even talk about relationships because their relationship is ain't, ain't really normal. But now in this society, that is a norm for guys to get with women who've been with multiple guys and used to be okay with it. And then the women can try to project onto you about you sleeping with other people. These women think that all men have the ability to sleep with multiple guy, multiple people, and they all it, it becomes more it becomes very disingenuous when you deal with these type of people on in in this in America. And that's why I made that video. Oh man, when I made that video about um. Damn, everybody's in the park today, damn it. That motherfucker's sitting on the damn thing, looking on the phone instead of being in the, what's it called? So I say I hate when people come out. A lot of come people come out. They fuck it up. Try to make videos and... Uh, okay. They try to normalize this shit, man. Where, um... Now... You can't have standards anymore. You can't say it. I don't like I don't like women who listen to Meg the Stallion, or I don't like women who who watch reality show. I don't like women who slept with more than this guy. I don't like women that this 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 this. It's like you can't have standards, but they can have standards. And this is why you wondering why a lot of motherfucking people are dropping out of this shit and they going overseas. Now, the stuff that's happening right now, a lot of guys can't travel. But as soon as all this traveling stuff is, is safe and you can go travel, people going to be out of here. People can't stand being here. There's guys I know right now. There's guys I know right now who like who getting iffy because they like they're used to traveling. And they're like they don't even want to touch none of the women over here. They like they're, they're throwing up from the concept of even talking to these chicks. 
Because these chicks are insufferable to talk to. Because they all feminized. And the chicks who ain't feminized, they are feminized. They just don't know it because they think they're different from the from from the other one. I, I, I already uh um covered the fake chicks out here multiple times. And so like man, so this is what's out here, guys. They want you to accept a woman for who she really is. But this is not this is not me bringing up a post that's happened two years ago, three years ago. This happens today or t today or yesterday. I try to keep you all up to date with like the women that's out here, because the fact is a lot of people will. If you slip and fall, if you slip from the stuff that's happening out here, you will get caught up. And it's just like in, in, in a battle or in combat that you have to be always ready. You have to be always ready for them to try to do something or act like they did something else or do something this and this and this and that because you don't know what they're going to try next. And if you already know, if you already know how these women are trying to like normalize them, able to, being able to have all these sexual partners and then try to make you outrank the partners that they all have. That dynamic don't work. That's why that that that, that uh, adult film star Lori, Lori Lore, Alexis Lore, she got dumped by that nerdy dude, cause he probably already knew what kind of woman she was. He got with her because she tried to get she tried to use him as a a stable of okay I can do what I want and I could be with him, but he didn't use game. He gave her ultimatum. You want this relationship? You're gonna have to get out of out of California and you're gonna have to stop shooting uh, normal uh, scenes. You're gonna have to just do scenes with me. And also, you gotta share all of the, 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 the stuff that you did. I gotta catch up to you. So you're gonna have to bring girls to me. And this nerdy guy was shooting OnlyFans with his P-Star girlfriend and her P-Star friends for OnlyFan content. Now that's a dude a nerdy white guy, that's a dude who don't have game. He's just a smart. Because he reversed the crap on her and see how she was. And she was lonely. She was some of these women are so lonely, they get tired of being just a sex object, so they want to evolve themselves into something else. And this is the whole point of them using their boyfriends as a, a mantle of saying, oh, I, I'm I'm that. So you re you refill them. The whole point of these dudes in these women's life is uh, you refilling them with the stuff that that, that 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 they feel empty in, and they get to go out and have fun, but call it work and call it content. It's only it, it gives them an excuse to do what they want, while at the same time acting like they're doing things that's that's normal. So. Let's move on. LGBTQ community member says sexually liberated women ruined that some conscious fantasy of men wanted to control women. That's why they're going so hard saying that most that they they like they like most modest women. So why is it that an LGBTQ community dude has so much to say about the other side? But then when people came at this guy. All the women came to the defense and saying, well, yeah, no, it's not this. And they so much, so many of them are hypocrites, man. Twitter is like a cesspool of things that you will see that people say. And it makes me, it makes me, it makes me happy that I don't have to have the conversation with none of these people. Because I kind of, I walk around with a, with a digital playbook. Also, I walk around with a uh, mental playbook on what these people might say to me. So I try not to get into any type of, uh, try to get any type of like drama with these people because they use their weapons, the AKA simps and all the little people they know to try to do violent things against you. So at some point you'll be like, I know what they're gonna say next. So you don't touch on none of the subjects because you know what's gonna happen to you.
The herd mentality. It can happen to you at any at any shot in America. It can happen to you in other countries too. You have to be careful of what you say and what you do around people. When you think that you're around so many people that can actually turn on you at the same time. In America, it's increasingly more, at least over country overseas, there's no you America and you don't know what you're talking about. See, you might can get away with talking about soccer as an American one time. Unless somebody kicks you and be like, dog, don't talk about that over here. Over here, every single subject is controlled by a group of people that anytime you talk to a person, they can have 50 people on you and turn on you at easily. The educated guys, the educated men, the smart black men, the different black men, the frontline black men, SYSBM, we don't have that type of power where if we get mad at a person, we can actually get them beat up or 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 or, or K I K I L L. But these guys on the opposite side can do that. The 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 the, the, the perform pookie can actually hurt you and, and and cause mark on your face because of a disagreement. I never saw any smart man beat up somebody because they said they don't like a certain type of woman or about football and basketball or sports or shoes and clothes. But these guys do do it. So the herd mentality is dangerous. And I use this herd mentality as an uh, increased level of always watch your back when dealing with people. Always watch your back because this herd mentality can easily turn on you. Everybody has the same mindset nowadays in America. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be very fortunate to find somebody who don't believe in the same stuff that other person believe. Or if the person believes what you believe, they don't want to get turned on, so they'll turn on you just so they don't get turned on. Instead of tell, or, 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 or trying to get you out of the situation and save you from the, the people. And be like, oh, yo, don't, don't talk to them. Because they got the same mindset. So, normalization of getting with overused women, single moms, big women, and all this other stuff, is their perception of thinking that Men have it so much better and they're trying to get with this, this, this deformed version of a man that they thought of in their head that get away with all this stuff. In truth, most men wasn't able to get away with all this stuff. Only white men was able to get away with some of this stuff. And it was blamed on other groups of men. Now, other groups of men can get away with some stuff, but black men wasn't. And then we had to hear 40 years of this perception of the worst men being normalized and saying that's all us and then when we finally fight back after 15 years of fighting back and telling them that's not us now we got guys coming in the space who was doing all the dirt that these women were talking about and telling us that we ain't getting we, we can't get vagina or we bad yeah, because we can't get the women no we was coming to our we was coming at our, our defense of black men that wasn't a part of the fuckery or black men who wasn't part of the street life and black men who wasn't part of sleeping with people's wives and girlfriends and beating up women and cheating on women and giving women STDs. We came in at their fence and we could, we continue to keep, keep coming to our own defense. We got men out here who was never part of this crap and this drama, but you want to sit back and tell us that we need to learn from you. We never try to force you, we never force y'all to try to learn like us. You came in our space that was made for us. Not made for you, but made for us. Make your own space. Make the pimple spear. Make the player spear. Make the uh the game spear. What what happened to that 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 that, that, that spear that Ron Wills tried to turn? The 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 uh select the spear? How that went? How that go? It, it didn't go so well, right? The funny thing about that, man, it, it, it's, it's becoming hard and so difficult to actually associate with people, man. Because you don't know what kind of allegiance they hide. In. You don't know what kind of allegiance and what kind of mentality they hide in behind the base level stuff that they, they, they're trying to talk to you about, man. I mean, I can't. <laughs> it becomes so hard and difficult to talk to people. You got to watch the stuff that you say. But me, I always try to bring it out of people of what kind of person they are so I can know who I'm dealing with. So I don't get into a whole general conversation with them. If we can talk... If we can talk about base level stuff 
at some point I'm gonna throw in the stuff that I think everybody else is gonna follow as soon as I figure out that you are one of the people that I don't like or I don't want to associate with, if I had to be around you longer than I, if I had to be around you for money reasons, then I'm only going to talk to you at a certain level. We're going to have a conversation for 30 minutes and I'm going to bounce off and not talk to you. But, so we don't have conflict until I get away from you. Like talking to people nowadays, especially here in America, is like, it's like holding your breath because you don't know what this you don't know what to say because they might do some violence to you or they try to devour your reputation or their perception of you. They lose respect. They lose respect for you on your on your opinion or try to or try to make other people convince others that you are the person they think in their head that you are without having the results and a back and a track record to show that you that type of person they think you are. They don't even know who you are and they're saying somebody hurt you or you, who hurt you or this and this and that. You have to watch out for some of this stuff, man, because it, it, it's exhausting, but it's always changing. And it, 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 it gets the playbook. They keep going deep and deep with the playbook and the stuff that they say and they do. And me, I just put it out there where what this stuff is, you, you're going to have to be you're going to have to approach these things. Every single day And have to deal with this kind of stuff In your life every day Because at some point You're going to have to You're going to have to dodge these people Like you dodging bullets in the matrix Because that's what it is It's the matrix You're going to have to be the one Where you can stop bullets Stop conversations before they happen So you don't have to deal with the people That might try to destroy your life Or fight you or do harm to you or try to ruin your reputation and the hard work that you put out there in the world. We got a whole bunch of people. We got a whole bunch of children. Who got too much power. And nobody's stopping them. So the best thing you can do is get away from these people. man. So I wanted to share that with you with the whole two things. Normalizing and then a LGBTQ person speaking of. Uh, women liberating themselves and stuff and also I want to uh, talk about that When these women liberate themselves, it's for them to shame men, you know, you know how back in the day having a having a a Normal size was actually like normal Now these women want something super super big or they want you to perform like a porn star but they want you to they want you to perform like a porn star a, 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 a P star But they don't have to perform like a P star And a lot of guys have exposed the women for being lackluster in bed This is the reason why they gotta have Had to have sex with multiple women Because half of these women Five or six or ten women Amount to like No kind of uh, good sex Based off what these dudes are saying Because these are guys that get women This is why they gotta get multiple women But Guys in SYSVM and some people out there or even outside of SYSVM, when we get women overseas or somebody over, we, we good, we, we satisfied with one. We, we do get greedy because we've been locked out so much by the bull crap of these women telling us that we ain't big enough and we need to do this and do this in the bedroom. We, we do go over crazy when we get to other countries. And the whole point is we don't want women over here because the women over here got too much power. And the expectations for men is too much. Even the men they do get, they treat them like trash. Ask these men who, who always talk about game and all this other stuff. Do they really think that they satisfy these women? Do they, do, do they really think that these women are uh, uh, sleep with only them and them, them only? So yeah, man, I'm going to cut this video short.